the active molecules that the cannabis plant makes, like THC and CBD, CBN, CBG, all of these different molecules are part of a class of molecules called cannabinoids. And the entire point of this video is going to be to walk you through what a cannabinoid is. And then I'm actually I'm going to start with talking about why I call them cannabinoids, because you may have heard them also called cannabinoids. Both of these are correct. I'm going to start with that. Both of these are correct. There's no correct way to say this this word. However, I switched from saying cannabinoid to cannabinoid about a year ago, and this is why. When I first started researching the endocannabinoid system, when I started to learn about all the different cool chemistry that the plant makes, I learned about this in academia. I was at the University of Rhode Island at the time. I was getting my PhD. Of course, I had heard of THC and CBD before that, but like really learning about what these compounds are, that wasn't until grad school. In academia, everybody called them cannabinoids, and everybody called it the endocannabinoid system. And that's kind of what I thought it was always referred to as. And it wasn't until I started working in the cannabis industry that I started to realize that most of the people who actually worked with the plant, whether that was extractors or cultivators or somebody else, called them cannabinoids, not cannabinoids. Now, this didn't really bother me. I just thought, okay, you know, everyone says things differently. This is just how they prefer to say it. But then looking into the history of how we discovered the endocannabinoid system and how we discovered these different molecules, it really all comes down to the plant, the cannabis plant. People had been using this plant for thousands of years for different medicinal and textile purposes and even religious experiences and spiritual experiences. It wasn't until modern science really got our hands on this plant and understood that the plant was producing these molecules and that those molecules are the things that got us high and had all these different medicinal benefits. So we named this class of molecules after the cannabis plant and called them cannabinoids. And this is exactly why I switched from cannabinoids to cannabinoids. These molecules are named after the plant. And in my opinion, when we start to call them cannabinoids instead of cannabinoids, we're kind of taking away some of that recognition and some of that connection to the plant. And we're putting it on kind of mo modern pharmaceutical academia type medicine that isn't really respecting the plant, but instead learning about how we can patent it and do all these other things to it. So it's kind of an ode to the plant, in my opinion, to call them cannabinoids instead of cannabinoids because it's a reminder that these molecules were discovered because of this plant. And that goes for the same thing with the different cannabinoids inside our own body. We know that the plant makes these molecules in the cannabis sativa plant. It is making cannabinoids. And more specifically, if it's being produced in a plant... They're called phytocannabinoids. Phyto means plant. It means that it gets energy from the sun. So if you're talking about THC is a phytocannabinoid, CBD is a phytocannabinoid. And then you move on to learning about the ones that your own body makes. So humans and almost every animal on planet Earth is producing these molecules called endocannabinoids. Endo means endogenous, meaning they're produced within our own body. So the two main endogenous cannabinoids are 2-AG and anandamide, and these are binding to the cannabinoid receptors within our own body. So again, we have cannabinoid 1 receptors and cannabinoid 2 receptors, but almost all of the research and attention is really on the cannabinoid 1 receptor because that is the receptor that THC binds to and the reason that we have so many different medicinal benefits from this plant, but also the reason that we can feel a bit elevated when we're using this medicinal plant. So again, just to reiterate, when we're talking about cannabinoids produced in the plant, they're phytocannabinoids. When we're talking about cannabinoids produced in our own body, they're endocannabinoids. And in our body, this is part of a system called the endocannabinoid system or the endogenous cannabinoid system. And the ECS controls almost everything in our body, including other systems like the dopamine system, the serotonin system, the opioid system. It controls our appetite, our sleep, our mood, so many different things. And the cannabinoid receptors are part of the system and the endocannabinoids and also the different enzymes that are used to produce these molecules and break down these molecules. Now you might wonder what 
is the definition of a cannabinoid, right? Because if we have these ones in our body, we have these ones in our plant, how are we determining when something's a cannabinoid and when it's not a cannabinoid? And actually the way it works for cannabinoids is different than many other molecules. Cannabinoids are classified as cannabinoids if they bind to and activate cannabinoid receptors. And that's really what defines this class of compounds. So although the cannabis sativa plant is the most famous producer of cannabinoids and the reason we even discovered this class of molecules, there are other plants, fungi, that also produce some cannabinoid-like molecules. So we know that uh, the truffle fungus produces endocannabinoids. We know that plants like a rhododendron has produced phytocannabinoids. And there's many other examples of this in nature. But for the sake of this video, let's just focus on the cannabis plants producing phytocannabinoids and our body is producing endocannabinoids. Now the cannabinoids being defined based on the activity at a receptor is not always the way that we classify molecules. So for instance, terpenes are not described by activity. Terpenes are described based on the building block that makes up a terpene, which is called an isoprene unit. Um, and that's a very small building block that gets pieced together and is quite reactive with other isoprene units. And they can be used to build together to build these terpene molecules. Now I wanna reiterate, there is no right way to say cannabinoid. There's no wrong way to say cannabinoid. Do whatever you're comfortable with. I know a lot of people say cannabinoid because it's easier to say endocannabinoid system, cannabinoid compared to endocannabinoid system and cannabinoid. Keep doing whatever you're most comfortable with. I just wanted to explicitly say why I have switched from saying cannabinoid to cannabinoid and I will continue to say cannabinoid. I am always here to represent the plant. I'm here to represent all natural products and figure out how we can use them and as a spirituality tool. And I think it's important for us, especially as our world gets more sterile and more pharmaceutical, that we remember that the entire reason we have this medicine and all of these amazing compounds is because of this amazing plant and what this plant is able to produce. So comment uh, below if you say it the same way I do or if you say it a different way. I've actually heard people say cannabinoid as well as an additional way of saying cannabinoid. So, you know, I hope I'm not confusing people more with this video, um, but I also understand like there's regional differences and different research labs say different things. So do whatever you want to do, uh, but that's the reason I say it and say whatever makes you comfortable. I remember a old coworker of mine said that I sounded quote, really dumb when I said it both ways. And um, I guess shout out to you uh, for that comment because I don't feel like I sound dumb. I think it's actually a very positive thing to be able to change the way you say or do things because you've thought about it a bit more and it's okay to change um, you know, later on about any subject that you want. So I um, hope that's a little inspo for your week, but thanks for joining and uh, see you later. Mad love.